Scrapie is a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy in sheep and goats which causes neurological signs in affected animals. Confirmation of disease is made post-mortem on examination of the brain, which also allows classification into different forms of scrapie, classical scrapie, atypical scrapie, and rarely other forms transmitted from other species, such as bovine spongiform encephalopathy, abbreviated BSE. Scrapie is a listed disease by the World Health Organization for Animal Health but the disease is often not recognised in affected small ruminants. This video demonstrates a short clinical examination protocol lasting approximately five minutes to aid in the detection of clinical cases affected by transmissible spongiform encephalopathies using three sheep as examples. Example one is a clinically healthy sheep, intracerebrally inoculated with BSC free bovine brain homogenate examined at 49 months post-inoculation, which represents a control. Example two is a clinically affected sheep, intracerebrally inoculated with atypical scrapie ovine brain homogenate, examined at 36 months post-inoculation, which represents an atypical scrapie case. Example three is a clinically affected sheep, Intracerebrally inoculated with atypical BSE bovine brain homogenate, examined at 15 months post inoculation, which presents clinically similar to classical scrapie. For this reason, a classical scrapie case is not included. Assessment of posture The healthy sheep carrying the ear tag number one and indicated by the red arrow displays a normal posture when undisturbed in the pen. The posture of the atypical scrapie sheep also appears normal. The sheep with atypical BSC appears slightly hunched and tends to stand with its hind limbs wide based. Assessment of behaviour as expected in normal sheep, the healthy sheep stays within the group and follows the movements of the examiner with its eyes. Approaching and catching the sheep does not elicit any abnormality. The atypical scrapie sheep behaves differently to the other sheep in the pen and stands with its rear towards the camera, whereas all other sheep look towards the camera. Sheep are social animals and move in groups, but this sheep does not immediately follow other sheep and appears to be slow in realising that the other sheep are gone. Clockwise circling is elicited after examination of this sheep. This compulsive behaviour only stops when the sheep has approached and it runs away. The sheep with atypical BSC falls on the floor when handled after being caught. Menace response testing. Moving the hand or several fingers several times towards each eye of the animal without touching any facial hairs or creating any air turbulence should elicit blinking as seen for both eyes in a healthy sheep. The 
menace response is lost in the sheep with atypical scrapie, which does not blink, although its ability to blink when the eyelids are touched is not impaired. The atypical BSE sheep blinks in response to the menace, but the blink response is weak in the left eye compared to the blink response when the eyelid is touched. Testing of the scratch response. The tests are here performed whilst the sheep stands next to a wall and it is prevented from escaping forward by one leg of the examiner. The sheep is calm enough to continue with the test. Several areas of the back are scratched. Here the sacral, lumbar, thoracolumbar, mid-thoracic and cranial thoracic regions with a pause between each scratching episode to observe the response. This clinically healthy sheep does not show a repeatable stereotypical response. Similarly, the sheep with atypical scrapie does not respond to scratching of several areas of the back. A response, however, is elicited when the sheep with atypical BSC is scratched. Depending on the area that is scratched, it either reacts with nibbling movements of the lip or head movements. This response is considered positive. Checking for wall loss and skin lesions. Extensive areas of wall loss with or without skin lesions can usually be observed from a distance, but closer examination of the sheep during restraint may identify smaller areas of wall loss caused by excessive puritis. These areas are often found on the head, back, rump and side of thorax or abdomen, often bilateral or symmetrical. Whilst no wall loss is detected in the control sheep, and the sheep with atypical scrapie. The sheep with atypical BSC has lost its wool on the pole. The skin is otherwise intact, except for a small scab that has formed after damage of the skin. This may have been caused by excessive pruritus. Scoring body condition. The animal's body condition is scored by feeling the transverse and dorsal processes of the lumbar vertebrae. This can also be done during the scratch testing of the sheep. A score from 0 to 5 may be used, with 5 being assigned to a very obese sheep. This is represented in the drawn image of a cross section through the lumbar vertebral column. The processes of the vertebrae are covered by muscle in red and fat tissue in yellow, and it would be impossible to fill the ends of the transverse processes even if you apply pressure to the skin. By contrast, the body condition is poor if the ends of the spinal processes feel sharp without applying any pressure, and no overlaying fat tissue can be felt as demonstrated in this image. This would be scored as naught. The body condition is very good in the clinically healthy sheep with a score of 4. A typical scrapie caused a loss in bodily condition, which is only fair with a score of 2, whereas the sheep with atypical BSC has maintained a good body condition score of 3. Blindfolding the animal. The sheep's head is covered here with a handmade blindfold, which could be any non-see-through bag, where one corner is cut off the animal's nose to allow breathing. Before releasing the sheep, 
Make sure it is safe for the animal to do so. Some sheep may panic and run or jump around and may be in danger of hurting themselves or others. In this case, do not release the sheep completely and study animal movements while still holding the animal. The healthy sheep remains calm and blindfolded, but tosses its head in an attempt to remove the blindfold. Its movement or balance is not impaired. In contrast, the sheep with atypical scrapie starts circling in clockwise direction. There is also loss of balance. The sheep with atypical BSC is reluctant to move and leans against the hurdle, but whilst doing so it crosses its forelegs and loss of balance is evident. Assessment of the animal's movement. The gait in the clinically healthy sheep appears normal. There is no obvious tremor, neither when the sheep is left undisturbed nor earlier during handling. Ataxia is present in the sheep with atypical scrapie. It slips when it follows the other sheep and its hind limb movements appear incoordinated. A fine head tremor can be observed briefly when the sheep stands in the group. Ataxia is also apparent in the sheep inoculated with atypical BSC. There is a loss of balance, incoordination and hypermetria as can be seen by the high stepping forelimb gait. Interpretation Clinical signs shown in those sheep affected by transmissible spongiform encephalopathies included abnormal behaviour, an absent menace response, a positive scratch response, alopecia with skin damage, circling when blindfolded, incoordination and tremor. The display of one, or in the cases presented here, more of any of these signs should alert the examiner and scrapie should be considered as one of the causes. Conclusion. This video shows the clinical examination protocol performed on a clinically healthy sheep and gives examples of abnormal findings in sheep affected by transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. This protocol is useful to detect clinically suspicious cases which may be examined in more detail to rule out other diseases with a similar clinical presentation or may be used to assess clinical onset disease progression or clinical endpoints in experimental studies of transmissible spongiform encephalopathies in small ruminants.